This is breaking news. The voice recap. Contestant moves Rebum Sentire to tears. Snoop Dogg makes dramatic last-second bid for teen singer. As blind auditions wound down on The Voice, the coaches got pickier when it came to which singers would fill the remaining spots on their teams. With only a handful of selections left for Rebum Sentire, Gwen Stefani, Michael Bublé, and Snoop Dogg, Monday's episode marked a crucial point in the competition where strategy and wit became vital pieces of the puzzle. Season 26's penultimate audition round didn't disappoint. With a flurry of four chair turns, a last-second decision by Snoop, and another chance granted for a former voice contestant. Meanwhile, Bubbler used the final coach replay of the season, and its entire quietly welcomed three more artists to her growing team. Which singers made it to the next round on The Voice? Here are the standout musical acts of Monday's episode. Non-binary queer singer Cameron Wright, who uses they slash them pronouns, opened the episode. They earned an instant four-chair turn with their cover of The Way We Were by Barbara Streisand, which was dedicated to their late grandmother who raised them. Wright's experience singing with Stevie Wonder and touring with their gospel singer mother showed in their powerful performance, landing immediate praise from the coaches. You came in and just sliced the air out of the room. Not one moment wasn't perfect, Stephanie said, while Bubbly declared that Wright was going to make it to the damn finals. When Wright chose Team Bubbly, the Canadian crooner was visibly surprised. It was Bubbly's feedback that prompted Wright to make the decision. They were one of the greatest singers I have ever heard in my life. I mean, truly, Bubbly said. That voice is sensational. An honorable mention goes to Lauren Michael Sellers, whose performance of Hillsong United's Oceans, Where My Feet May Fail, scored a four-chair turn, moving the sentire to tears and lighting a fire within Stefani, who spoke about her emotional connection to the worship song. Sellers picked Team Reba. It seemed as if Eliza Pryor would not make it past the blind auditions, but Snoop Dogg continued to live up to his wild card moniker and pressed his button at the last possible second. The rapper saw enough potential in the teen singer's rendition of the Cranberry's Linger to make her a member of Team Snoop. Pryor's youthfulness didn't face him. Instead, he saw what was possible for her musically. I see that you can go to a lot of different places with your voice. Bubbly admitted he didn't push his button because he was uncertain about Pryor's range, and Stephanie noted that she didn't showcase her vocal strength until the end of the performance. Michael Bubbler uses the last coach replay. Mcentire, Stefani, and Snoop all used up their coach replay powers, so it was up to Bubbly to decide when to use his. The lucky candidate was folk singer Mark Sheba, who didn't receive any initial chair turns, but was described by Snoop as a triple threat after he impressed the panel with his harmonica and guitar playing skills. Singing Bob Dylan's Don't Think Twice, It's All Right, it was Sheba's unique character voice, as Stephanie called it, that made Bubbly rethink his decision, ultimately using his one and only coach replay. Once Bubbly put all of his cards in Sheba's basket, he saw value in the singer's distinct vocal stylings. This guy might be a star. This guy might be one of those unique American singers, he said. I knew that I had made a mistake before the chair ever turned around. He got his second chance today. A deserving second chance. After receiving no chair turns when she first auditioned in season 21, hopeful Cameron Brooks came back for a second go on The Voice. Performing Light On by Maggie Rogers, Brooks was proof that second chances do exist, earning a four-chair turn. It was a full-circle moment for Brooks, who had developed a heart condition called myocarditis after her first appearance on The Voice and trained for three years with her doctors to be able to sing a complete song. In the coach's evaluation of her performance, Bubbly said his favorite part was you losing it because that's such a human thing, referencing her visceral excitement mid-song over the chair turns. Stephanie praised Brooks's round, soothing voice. In the end, Brooks chose Team Gwen. Who turns our chair? 
It was an embarrassment of riches on Monday's episode. But our pick goes to Kay Sybil, a Los Angeles-based Filipino-American singer whose voice audition coincided with the three-year anniversary of her father's death. Already emotional, due to the timing of everything, Sibol put her own jazzy spin on Lofi's from the start, which Bubbly immediately picked up on. He pressed his button, along with Stefani and Snoop, teeing up one of the more intense coach showdowns so far. You made that song so yours, Bubbly said, imploring Sibol to pick him as her coach because of 